of all, congratulations. This was so much fun to watch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, David, I have to ask that you mentioned that Terminator and James Cameron was really something that got you into filmmaking. Yeah. So that being said, now working on this, I mean, how does that feel? It's gonna it, be kind of amazing. It was it was a dream come true. Um, I mean, I saw the first Terminator, or saw Terminator 2: Judgment Day when I was eight years old with uh, my mother, who took me when I was way too young to see an R-rated movie, <laughs> and I uh, absolutely fell in love with it and said, "That's what I want to do when I grow up." And mm -hmm. so when the opportunity came to be able to work on this, it is truly a dream come true. And uh, probably one of the most magical things was when, when Jim saw the movie and said that we're the official third Terminator in his mind. Mm -hmm. To know that he likes the movie that we made and thinks that it deserves, deserves to belong in the universe that he created means everything. I have to talk about casting because I know that this movie wouldn't have worked without the casting that you guys chose. Mm -hmm. So if you could tell me, Dana, a little bit about you know choosing Jai and Amelia sure. and our John Connor. I mean, those were all crucial parts to the story. We're so incredibly proud of our cast. I mean, there's obviously our core group, but we have a really deep bench on this movie. Um, by the way, shout out to Rana Kress, our casting director, who did a phenomenal job. I mean, obviously it started with Arnold. He was our first piece of casting. He was the crucial piece of casting. There wasn't going to be a Terminator movie without him. And then came Amelia. And you know, credit to Amelia Clark. Stepping into the shoes of, to play Sarah Connor is a really daunting task. You know, Linda Hamilton create, created a character that is iconic. And to her credit, Amelia made this Sarah Connor her own. You know, our Sarah is a very different Sarah than the previous incarnations and it was a combination of Amelia's strength and vulnerability that really made her so perfect for us and Jai Courtney you know every once in a while you, you do a movie and there's somebody who's fifth or sixth on the call sheet you can't take your eyes <coughs> off of him and we at Skydance were lucky enough to make Jack Reacher a few years ago and, and Jai was one of the lead villains in that film and we just thought he was so incredible and he came in to read with Amelia to play Kyle Reese. And at the end of the audition, we looked at one another and said, we just found Kyle. And then there's Jason Clark, who's just, you know, you can't say enough nice things about Jason. I mean, to me, he's sort of a classic Hollywood actor because yes, he's handsome, but he also radiates such intelligence and warmth. And we needed that out of John Connor because you really had to fall in love with John Connor up front in our movie so that the turn was really heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's this speech at the beginning of our film and we were all standing around set, of course, the night that Jason delivered it. And at the end of that day, after the first take, actually, we all said, yeah, wow, we got the right guy. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, J.K. Simmons just had to win an Academy Award. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we couldn't be more proud of our cast. Yeah, and, and, and when it showed. And, and Beyond Hung Lee. And, and, yeah, it goes and on. Dio and Courtney B. Vance. Yeah. There's a whole group of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the casting was amazing. And I, I do, don't think it would have worked so well without them. So kudos to all of you. Um, and Alan, I have to ask you, no stranger to action movies. <laughs> but this is a little bit different. So it how is. did this differ? And did you take it on any differently than you would, say, any of the other franchises like I, Thor? I think they're all different in every every house that you, you work in is different. Um, I was drawn to the Terminator experience partly because I think of these films as being more grounded. Um, uh, I loved my last go-round. Um, the Marvel Universe is sort of a separate world and somehow the Terminator films, they have all this power, they have all this action, they have all this, sort of this you know, stakes and all this stuff and they're summer blockbusters but they never completely depart from this world. I mean you really care about the emotions of the people involved, the people feel real and it's crucial in a Terminator um, story that you're in the world that you recognize and something otherworldly comes smashing into it um, and I think that's what almost defines this mythology a little bit. Well thank you guys so much and thanks for getting us excited for the sequels. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.